Hey folks, welcome to Puzzle Spoilers. Today we're taking a look at the Corky Puzzle, also known as the Uncorker. This puzzle was designed by Gary Fauci and was released by Bits and Pieces in 2005. The goal of the puzzle is to create a functioning corkscrew from these two pieces. It's a pretty simple puzzle. It only requires one step. Let me show you how to solve it. Let's first look at this piece. This is obviously the handle piece, and this definitely will fit through that hole and come out the other side. And there's nothing secret about this. It simply unscrews on one end, and if we could just put that through that hole, we'd have a functioning corkscrew. Let's put that back for now so we don't lose it and set it down. Let's take a closer look at the corkscrew piece itself. The problem here is that we don't have a clear pathway through those two holes. There's a little bit of metal blocking the path. And when we twist the tip here, we see the metal spinning in there. So we know that this is one piece. We just need to figure out how to move that piece of metal so that we have a clear path. We can sort of see the hole there. It's not aligned. And there's another hole on the other side. What we need to do is get this piece, the corkscrew piece, to drop down a little bit. That will bring the hole down on this corkscrew piece and align it with the hole on the outer sleeve. There is a small ball bearing in there that's preventing the inner part from dropping down and we need to get the ball bearing to sit in the middle and drop down into a chamber before we can move this downwards. So in order to do that we need to shake the puzzle a bit and we want to lift up just a little bit on the corkscrew piece so that it's not putting any pressure on that ball bearing. We need the ball bearing to be free moving so that it can fall into the small chamber inside that part right there. And we hear the bearing and we wanna wiggle the puzzle around until we don't hear that ball anymore. And that's when we know that the ball has dropped and we can now push the corkscrew piece down further, spin it, and now we see that we have a free path now we can take the handle piece, let's unscrew it, and we can place it completely through now. Screw the other side back on. And now we have a fully functional corkscrew, and we've solved the puzzle. To put it back, let's just reverse those steps. We'll take the handle out, and we want to pull up on the corkscrew piece and turn the full assembly upside down so that the ball falls out again and give it a good shake and then push down. Now we can see that the corkscrew is locked again and we don't see those holes revealing themselves and the puzzle's back to its original unsolved position. We're able to completely disassemble the puzzle by using this little set screw. Let's remove it. I was able to do this just with my fingertips, but you could get a little Allen wrench to take that out. And put that somewhere safe. Now we can completely remove the assembly and see how this works. Let me show you the inside of this shaft. I'm gonna shine a flashlight so you can see. There's a, a small hole, small divot there at the very end of the shaft. That's where we want the ball to sit in the solved position. When the ball comes out of that small hole and kind of sits along the sides of the shaft, that's when we can't push the assembly in any further and that's the unsolved position. So when we shake up the shaft and manipulate it, we are trying to get that ball to drop into the center hole there at the bottom of this uh, shaft. So here's what the ball looks like. Just a small ball. Let's put that back in. 
and let's take a closer look at this assembly. This is the spot where the handle goes through. And this just sits on top of that ball. When the ball falls into the divot, this can drop down a little bit further and align with the hole on the outer shaft. Very simple puzzle, uh, but really elegant and interesting design. Here's the original instructions. And here is the original box as well. I'm always on the lookout for these old bits and pieces puzzles. They're really interesting, unfortunately pretty hard to find. I do have more, so I'll be doing more videos on these interesting older designs. I'll put a link below to where you could find this puzzle at auction. If you found the video interesting, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. That's it for today, folks. I'll see you on the next video.